performance on Anzac Day from St. George Laura Dragons. Uh, up against it, uh, I suppose, in that second half. Yes, they took a 14 0 lead into the halftime break, and there's plenty of questions that need to be asked uh, regarding the Sydney Roosters and where they're at. It's a game they shouldn't have lost. Uh, it's a game that no one, no one really tipped them to lose. Um, but their form is certainly up and down. But on the Dragons' front, a really, really strong performance. And, uh, you know, the defensive work started before half time where they're up against it. And in the second half, they barely had to play the ball over halfway, spent a lot of that half on the back foot and, and only let in uh, the 12 points across the course of the game. I thought their defence was superb. It looked like a team who actually do want to play for their coach now after looking anything but that you know, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it, it's almost as if... Uh, the pressure and media attention that was starting to be placed on the club club got to them. Uh, obviously, some big changes from Anthony Griffin a couple of weeks ago with Moses McGuire going to fullback, got Jack Bird moving into the halves. Uh, but they're starting to work now. Obviously, a couple of um, injuries are not helping the club uh, moving forward now with Jaden Sura and Jack Bird uh, picking up knocks yesterday. It's, it's unclear exactly how long they'll be out for at the moment. Uh, but... Uh, Certainly, the Dragons had a, had a really, really good game on Anzac Day. And I think the biggest thing now is going to be taking that energy and, and taking the, the momentum of, of such an important day, obviously, playing on Anzac Day. You, all the players talk about just how special it is and how how he gets you up like a few other games do across the course of the regular season. I think now, on the back of two straight wins, obviously, they come up against the Tigers next week, uh, who, are, who are themselves coming off two straight against the, uh, the uh, Eels and Rabbitohs. It's going to be really important now for the Dragons to stay up, to to defend as they did yesterday, and and show that attacking metal. Um, obviously, guys like Tyrrell Sloan, Jaden Sullivan, Talatau Mone are pushing to have their spots back in the side. The Dragons New South Wales Cup side have won three straight since uh, Mone, uh, sorry, since Sloan was dropped and Sullivan returned from an off-season injury. So I think those guys are knocking at the door, but uh, they're not going to get in that side while the Dragons are winning. And uh, the experienced veterans that are there will be now keen to keep their spots. And I think really a couple of interesting weeks coming up uh, now for the Dragons.